backstage at Ziggit Festival 2012 and we're joined by Visa. How's it going guys? Going good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. So you guys are from LA, California, right? That's correct. How do you guys find yourselves in Ziggit in Hungary? How does this happen? How did it come about? Uh, we were on tour in January. We did about 14 or 15 shows all over Europe and Budapest was an amazing experience and they invited us back. We said, sure thing, man, we'll be right back. We'll come and we're here. So you guys have released um, two LPs. Um, they've had a subtle tone of Russian as well, Russian influence. Where's that come from? Well, um, we, a few of the band members are, have Armenian descent, which um, obviously are neighbors of uh, um, the Soviet Union. And uh, what we um, bring to the, to the, uh, the table is our roots. Right. And um, I, being Greek, bring a little bit of the Greek touch to it, the, the boys bring a little bit of the Armenian touch to it, and sometimes it's um, interpreted as a little bit of a Russian style, but we'll, you know, for what it's worth, it's, it's translated to how the listener translates it. You know, some people might call it Russian, other people might call it Armenian, but either way, it's still our music. And um, you've also got a subtle, I say subtle, very, very, very mildly, but a subtle dance influence as well. Um, is there someone in, within you guys who's a bit of a dance influence? Who's that? Who's the main dancey esque person? I think if you watch the stage, you'll see Chris oh, yeah. is the Chris main dancer. So Chris is, is the main... Where's that from? Who, who did you draw that from? I mean, it comes from, uh, once again, our con all of our cultural in influences. So, uh, a lot of different places of the world that we've all come together. And um, the energy of the show really captures what our sound is like. And, um, as long as the people move, we move, yeah. and, and the energy is there. And um, what the music is there for is to pretty much make everybody get into it and kind of let loose and enjoy the vibe that we all put out there. Yeah, and you see it a lot in the breakdowns we do, and a lot of it with the instruments we play with Dumbek and Oud, there's a lot, that influence really comes through. Even though we're fusing a lot of yeah. styles, the breakdowns really have the elements of dance, like you were saying. Yeah. Something about getting beautiful women to shimmy. It's not a bad, it's not a bad idea. I mean, you guys, um, I saw you guys on set and everyone was rocking away, they were going crazy. But um, what's the track that gets everyone pumping? What's, what's the track you guys throw out and everyone just goes insane? There's a lot to choose from. I mean, Mon my Mona Lisa always gets a stir from the crowd. Um, Trans-Siberian standoff is another one. Uh, Break out the violins. And now this new one, Alabama song, which we covered from the doors. That's, a, that's also another shaker, but you know. Uh, we try to give them everything, and, and you know, we've got a lot, a, a lot on our plate. So hopefully they, uh, they, they, they enjoy each one of them. Coins. Oh yes. Uh, there's, there's a song called "In Coins," which was one of like very early earlier Visa, Visa yeah. records. That's the shimmy track. <clears throat> that that we've actually kind of redone with the, with a new lineup that we have with kind of a refound sound that we've got going with the. Pucka, pucka, bouncing <laughs> happening, but um, regardless, it gets the crowd going, and they definitely, we we definitely feed off them, and it's really fun. Um, so just a couple of quick fire round questions. You're obviously music based, and that's what you do. It's what you love. If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Is there like a backup option? Is there anything you guys considered? You know, before we like, oh, this might happen, or has it always been music for you? I'm gonna quote Tom York when he said. If it wasn't for music, I'd probably be a serial killer. Wow. Okay, 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 that's fine. I'm going to make a beeline for the exit. Not really, fair point. Fair no, point. No, the, the, what I'm trying to say is music is all I can imagine myself sure. doing. Sure. I can't think of anything else that allows me to kind of just isolate myself and just, you know, reveal to, to anything how I feel. So. Very, very honest answer. If I wasn't playing music, I'd be back at my office. I'm an attorney back home, and I wow. left a lot of that. <laughs> I, but I love playing music, and I love playing with my friends. Right. So to me, it's all worth it, and it's really enjoyable, and it's an amazing experience. Yeah. So I, I'd, I'd give it all up, you know, for, for doing your passion. Um, to be quite honest, since I was pretty young, and I still am pretty young, this was my. This was a dream to play with a group of brothers and kind of share a, a vision and get it across to as many people across the world that we could. And um, 
if I didn't, quite frankly, I, I'd probably be like Burger King or something, <laughs> man. Because I'd be left, I'd be left on the sidewalk, kind of thinking, go for right now. thinking <laughs> once again, you know. But um, there has always been something in all of us, I think, that has united us and kept us very close and um, just keep on following. Kind of like dream. right now. Yeah. <laughs> into the sofa. So, what's your what's your most treasured possession? Like, if you had to, you know, give up something, what would it be? That will be the biggest item you think? Oh, do you know, I really need to to grab onto this and grab hold of it. To hold on to? Yeah. My instrument. Instrument. Oh, okay. yeah. Music. It's my love. It's my mistress. It's yeah. my friend. It's it's kind of like the the holding place where I put all of my emotion, my artistic side, my intellectual side. It's kind of all in the instrument. And that's, I need to keep that safe and sound. I would have to say, as a story, an old story is one. If there's a fire in your house, what's the first thing you'd go and grab? And this one person said I would go in and grab my pictures. Mm, yeah. So I think I would go and grab my, my pictures. Yeah. That, that pretty much symbolizes my entire existence. Yeah. Fair point. How about you? You know, uh, this might not sound quite right to a lot of people, but um, I'd grab my cigarettes. <laughs> because, you know, my <laughs> cigarettes keep the patience, uh, the, the patience level rises quite a bit. So um, we'll, just, we'll just go ahead and go with that. And as well, you know, our, my instrument, yeah. because um, just as Andrew said, uh, it's a very culturally driven instrument and it... Um, definitely helps us express ourselves the way we would love it to through the music of the group. And a uh, final question for you guys. So we're actually in Hungary at the moment. Do you know? Do you guys know any Hungarian? Are you any good at your... What can you say to the guys at home in Hungary? I don't know any, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Not very learn, good. We did, learn, but we did learn a word when we were playing. Uh, the a response from the crowd was incredible. It kind of blew us away. Oh, yes. And they were saying Visa, which is the name of our band. And then when we were done, one of our friends who helped us when we got here, he said Visa means encore in Hungarian. Oh, that so cool. that was kind of very interesting coincidence yeah. there because the names are almost the same. Beauty of yeah. double meanings. Yeah, yeah. quite nice. Yeah. We, we, kept, we kept kind of looking at each other and going, are they chanting the name? <laughs> or like, oh it's man. Cool. <laughs> what, 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 so what's really yeah. happening? Yeah. And, then, and then we're like, oh, Visa is encore. And they said, Visa, Visa. And we're like, oh, okay. Works perfectly. We'll be back, hopefully. <laughs> oh. Yes. What? Definitely to be back. Well, I mean, I would probably say Visa as well, Encore, continue, but we're running out of time, so we're going to go. But you guys have been fantastic. Thank uh, thanks so much for having us.